after studying this module we shall be able to one know the concept of business environment two understand the nature of business environment three appreciate the importance of business environment four analyze the impact of environment on business and vice versa we shall commence our discussion by understanding the environment within which the business has to operate is very important for running a business unit successfully at any place because the environmental factors influence almost every aspect of business be it its nature its location the prices of products the distribution system or the personal policies hence it is important to learn about the various components of the business environment which consists of the economic aspect the socio cultural aspects the political framework the legal aspects and the technological aspects etc in this chapter we shall learn about the concept of business environment its nature and significance and the various components of the environment environmental dynamism is a widely explored construct in organization theory or strategic management literature it has growing importance according to the degree of instability turbulence of such key operating concerns as market or industry conditions as well as more general technological economic social and political forces an organization's ability to adapt to changing environmental circumstances is key to survival when we talk about the concept of business environment as per the business dictionary it is defined as the combination of internal and external factors that influence a company's operating situation the business environment can include factors such as clients and suppliers its competition and owners improvement in technology laws and government activities and market social and economic trends within quotes business do not operate in vacuum they operate in an environment in this lesson you learn about the business environment including what makes it up business environment is a sum total of all external and internal factors that influence a business you should keep in mind that external factors and internal factors can influence each other and work together to affect a business for example a health and safety regulation is an external factor and influences the internal environment of business operations additionally some fact external factors are beyond your control other factors are often called external constraints the success of every business depends on adapting itself to the environment within which it operates for example when there is a change in the government policies the business has to make the necessary changes to adapt it to the new policies similarly a change in the technology may render the existing products obsolete as we have seen that the introduction of computer has replaced the typewriters the color television 
has made the black and white television out of fashion. Again, a change in the fashion or customer's taste may shift the demand in the market for a particular product. For example, the demand for jeans reduced the sale of other traditional wear. All these aspects are external factors that are beyond the control of the business. So the business units must have to adapt themselves to these changes in order to survive and succeed in business. Hence, it is very necessary to have a clear understanding of the concept of business environment and the nature of its business components. We shall now throw some light on the success story of Starbucks. Success story of Starbucks in China by efficiently tackling its business environment. If there is one company that should have failed in China, it would be Starbucks. China has thousands of years of history drink, drinking tea and the strong culture associated with it. No one could have guessed that Chinese would ever drink coffee instead of tea. Yet, Starbucks have successfully opened more than 570 stores in 48 cities since it first entered years ago. Building on this momentum, it plans to open 1,500 stores by 2015. What did the Seattle based coffee company do right in China? Think different. When Starbucks entered China in 1999, many were skeptical that Starbucks had a chance. Given the fact that Chinese people have traditionally favored tea, it seemed impossible that Starbucks would be able to break into this market. However, Starbucks did not let this skepticism stop it. A careful market study revealed that as the Chinese middle class emerged, there existed an opportunity for Starbucks to introduce a western coffee experience where people could meet their friends while drinking their favorite beverages. Starbucks literally created that demand. Now you can find a Starbucks almost on every major street of the coastal cities in China. Position smart. The next thing Starbucks did was to capitalize on the tea drinking culture of Chinese consumers by introducing beverages using popular local ingredients such as green tea. This strategy has effectively turned potential obstacles into Starbucks favor. Brand Global Starbucks understands the value of its global brand and has taken steps to maintain brand integrity. Global brand does not mean global products or global platform as eBay mistakenly tried. Starbucks has highly localized menu of beverages that is particularly tailored to Chinese consumer. It has done an extensive consumer state profile analysis to create a unique East and West blend. Partner Local China is not one homogeneous market. There are many Chinas. The culture from Northern China is very different from that of the East. Consumer spending power inland is not on par with that in the coastal cities. To address this complexity of the Chinese market, Starbucks partnered with three regional partners as part of its expansion plans. In the north, Starbucks entered a joint venture with Beijing Meda Coffee Company. 
in the east starbucks partnered with the taiwan based uni president in the south starbucks worked with hong kong based maxims caterers each partner brings different strengths and local expertise that helped starbucks gain insights into the tastes and preferences of local chinese consumers commit long term china is not as easy market to crack it requires a long term commitment long term commitment also means patience it takes time to educate the market and gain consumer loyalty the companies that invest in long term plans can be sure to reap handsome rewards let us move on to discuss the nature of business environment one environment is complex business environment consists of a number of factors events and influences arising from different sources all these factors no way exist in isolation but continuously interact with each other to create entirely new sets of influence it is very much difficult to comprehend at once that what all factors constitute a given environment overall there is a general conclusion that environment is a complex phenomena relatively easier to understand in parts but difficult to grasp in its totality to dynamic business environment is constantly changing in nature due to many influences there is dynamism in environment causing it to change its shape and character continuously the changes in business environment are unpredictable it is very difficult to predict the exact nature of future happenings and the changes in economic and social environment 3 environment is multifaceted shape and character of every environment depends upon the perception of the observer a particular change in the environment or a new development going to be viewed differently by different observers this is seen frequently when the same development seen as opportunity by one company and threat by another company four far reaching impact environment has very much far reaching impact on business environment growth success and profitability of every organization depend on the environment in which it exists a minor environmental change may impact organization in several different ways five environment is wider environment is very much wider in nature it covers all factors and forces like customers competitors suppliers government and the social cultural political technological and legal conditions six influenced by place business environment differs from place to place region to region and country to country political conditions in india differ from those in pakistan taste and values cherished by people in india and china very considerably we shall now discuss the importance of business environment there is a close and continuous interaction between the business and its environment this interaction helps in strengthening the business firm 
and using its resources more effectively. Business environment is multifaceted, complex and dynamic in nature and has a far reaching impact on the survival and growth of the business. To be more specific, proper understanding of the social, political, legal and economic environment helps the business in the following ways. A. Determining opportunities and threats. The interaction between the business and its environment would identify opportunities for and threats to the business. It helps the business enterprises for meeting the challenges successfully. Analyzing of the environment over the period of time help multinational companies to gain over the coming opportunities and get prepared to face threats. B. Giving direction for growth. The interaction with the environment leads to opening up new frontiers of growth for the business firms. It enables the business to identify the areas for growth and expansion of their activities. C. Continuous learning. Environmental analysis makes the task of managers easier in dealing with business challenges. The managers are motivated to continuously update their knowledge, understanding and skills to meet the predicted changes in the realm of business. D. Image building. Environmental understanding helps the business organizations in improving their image by showing their sensitivity to the environment within which they are working. For example, in view of the shortage of power, many companies have set up captive power plants called CPP in their factories to meet their own requirement of power. E. Meeting competition. It helps the firms to analyze the competitors' strategies and formulate their own strategies accordingly. F. Identify firms' strengths and weaknesses. Business environment helps to identify the individual strengths and weaknesses in view of the technological and global developments. Let us throw some light on the impact of environment on business. The modern business manager operates in a most dynamic environment. The change in the environment has been rapid and unpredictable. These days, consumers and clients have been showing complex behaviors both in local and international markets. The most dramatic change has been that exhibited by competitive pressures. Competitors have been applying one strategy or the other to adapt to the dynamic and unpredictable nature of the business environment. To understand the impact of environment on business pestle analysis takes place. Pestle analysis stands for political, economic, social and technological, environmental and legal analysis. It is a part of the external analysis when conducting a strategic analysis or doing market research and gives a certain overview of different macro environmental factors that the company has to take into consideration. Political factors. Political factors identify how and to what degree a government intervenes in the economy. Specifically, political factors include areas such as tax policy, 
labor law environmental law trade restrictions tariffs and political stability political factors may also include goods and services which the government wants to provide or be provided like merit goods and those that the government does not want to be provided that is the demerit goods or merit bads furthermore governments have great influence on the health education and infrastructure of a nation economic factors economic factors include economic growth interest rates exchange rates and the inflation rate these factors have major impact on how businesses operate and make decisions for example interest rates affect a firm's cost of capital and therefore to what extent a business grows and expands exchange rates affect the cost of exporting goods and the supply and price of imported goods in an economy social factors social factors include the cultural aspects and include health consciousness population growth rate age distribution career attitudes and emphasis on safety trends in social factors affect the demand for a company's products and how that company operates for example an aging population may imply a smaller and less willing workforce thus increasing the cost of labor furthermore companies may change various management strategies to adapt to these social trends such as recruiting older workers technological factors technological factors include ecological and environmental aspects such as r&d activity automation technology incentives and the rate of technological change they can determine barriers to entry minimum efficient production level and influence outsourcing decisions furthermore technological shifts can affect costs quality and lead to innovation environmental factors environmental factors include weather climate and climate change which may especially affect industries such as tourism farming and insurance furthermore growing awareness to climatic change is affecting how companies operate and the products they offer it is both creating new markets and diminishing or destroying existing ones legal factors legal factors include discrimination law discriminatory law consumer law antitrust law employment law and health and safety law these factors can affect how company operates its costs and the demand for its products after discussing impact of environment on business we shall now discuss the impact of business on environment business decisions influence employees customers suppliers and competitors while company operations affects communities government and the environment to evaluate the impact of these decisions and activities you have to divide their effects into categories economic your business has an economic impact on society through the wages you pay your employees the materials you buy from your suppliers and the prices you charge your customers you have a positive social impact on your employees 
if you pay them a living wage and benefits to reduce the stress of unexpected events you have a positive effect on your suppliers if you pay them fairly and on time for their supplies your effect on customers is positive if you give them good value for their price they pay for your products and services governance the social impact of corporate governance contributes to the ethical climate of society if businesses offer bribes to secure work or other benefits engaging in accounting fraud or break regulatory and legal constraints on their operations the ethics of society suffer in addition to a deteriorating ethical environment such corruption may raise the price of goods for consumers such as happens when companies engage in price fixing privacy to process orders and deliver services companies have to collect personal information on their customers some information may be sensitive such as when companies deliver medical services and have medical histories on file businesses have a negative impact on the society if consumers find out that companies are not keeping such information secure or are selling it to third parties the lack of trust inhibits the free exchange of personal and private information that facilitates carrying on business efficiently intellectual property respect of patents and copyrights is both a social and ethical issue businesses own intellectual property and they use that of others they have to operate with a balance that protects their own interests in a responsible way while avoiding infringing patient patents and copyrights if businesses either act excessively in protecting their intellectual property or actively use that of others without permission they risk alienating their customers and hurting their public image environment a key area of business influence on society is environmental protection companies make a substantial direct contribution to greenhouse gases and the production of waste businesses that implement environmental policies to use energy more efficiently reduce waste and in general lighten their environmental footprints can reduce their internal costs and promote a positive image of their company the environmental initiatives of a market leader often forces competitors to take similar action for an increase beneficial effect on the environment let us recapitulate what we have learned so far business environment is basically combination of internal and external factors that influence a company's operating situation the business environment can include factors such as clients and suppliers its competition and owners improvement in technology laws and government activities and market social and economic trends business environment is a sum total of all external and internal factors that influences a business you should keep in mind that external factors and internal factors can influence each other and work together to affect a business for example a health and safety regulation is an external factor that influences the internal environment of business operations additionally 
Some external factors are beyond your control. These factors are often called external constraints. The nature of business environment is very dynamic. It keeps on changing over a period of time. The changes in business environment are unpredictable. It is very difficult to predict the exact nature of future happenings and the changes in economic and social environment. Business environment helps the business in determining opportunities, threats and growth direction over a period of time. Continuous learning, image building, meeting competition and identifying firm strength and weaknesses. Pestle analysis stands for political, economic, social and technological environmental and legal analysis. It is a part of the external analysis when conducting a strategic analysis or doing market research and gives a certain overview of different macro environmental factors that the company has to take into consideration.